Vikas, what is SDLC? So SDLC stands for Software Development Life Cycle. Okay. It is the set of steps, whatever we take during the uh, development of any application, any website or any product. Uh, the main common uh, steps of SDLC is that first of all we have to do planning, then we have to make the designing, then analysis, then go through with the uh, uh, implementation and then post implementation and then testing. What is the use of RDB units? RDBMS is a, a branch of DBMS. Uh, it, it stands uh, relational database management system. Okay. Uh, it is a backbone of any application. All the data whatever we create for our application are maintained by the RDBMS. What is SQL? SQL is a programming language. Basically, it's a non-procedural language which is used inside the RDBMS. It facilitates us to access the data either in front end or at back, back end. Okay, what is the difference between file and database? Uh, so anything, any data that, that is saved inside the computer can, can be called as a file. The okay. so file is any existence of data inside the hard disk. But in case of database, so database is a relational, is stored the data in relational manner, especially on the form of tables. Relational database can also work as a backend tools and it provides the services for various frontend tools uh, like .NET, Java, PHP, Python and so many things. And database is much faster than file. What is abstract class? Okay. So abstract class is a type of super class, okay. but only difference between abstract class and another type of super class is that we can never create the object of abstract class. Okay. As the name suggests, it's a hidden type of class. We, it can only be used with the help of inheritance and only subclass or child class can access the properties of, of abstract class. Okay. Tell me some difference in C and C++. Okay, sure sir. Uh, C++ is a modern approach of programming, uh, whereas C is a classical approach of programming. C is based on procedural oriented programming paradigm, uh, whereas the C++ based on the object oriented programming. Basically syntax is much similar to C and C++, but C++ provides us uh, the functionality of procedural uh, or procedure oriented programming as well as the property of object oriented programming also. What is artificial intelligence and uh, how it is different from machine learning? Sure sir. Artificial intelligence is a modern programming approach where we create such type of machine uh, which are able to think like a human. Okay. Uh, so it is much helpful for solve the critical problems. Okay. But if we talk about the machine learning or uh, deep learning, it's a it's also further branch of artificial intelligence. Here we train machine in such a way that it can learn itself also. Okay. For example, let's take an example. We are going to inside a road and unfortunately if we slipped or because of any obstacle so next time we'll we make the atten attention much attention over that particular obstacle so this is a example of machine learning okay it always learned with previous mistakes this is indeed one question yes sir what are your hobbies uh, sir my hobbies are that i am i i love reading uh, spiritual books and i love programming i love web development i love to meet uh, meet new people what are the different types of access modifiers? Access modifiers are basically the keywords that uh, specify the range of data uh, or the limitation of data where they can be accessed or not accessed. Access modifier can be different in different programming languages. Especially if I talk about the Java, then there are three basic uh, access modifier which are private, public and protected. Private limits the data and we, can, we can't use the data outside of class. Whereas public data allow us to access the data anywhere outside of class with the help of object. Whereas protected exists between the private and protected and it can be only at the limited place. What is the difference between DDL and DML commands? DDL, DML both are the part of SQL command. Okay. DDL at the name suggests it's a data definition language and it support, it will support us to create a structure for the database. But when we talk about the maintenance of data or the manipulation of data, then we go with the DML command. So it provides the features for the accessing data, deleting data, modifying the data, and such type of thing can be done with the help of DD, uh, DML. Okay. Yes, Monica, any question from your side? Sir, if you are finding two students are fighting in a class, yeah. how to handle uh, this Sure, sure, ma'am. Uh, if student is fighting, so first of all, I find I will try to find the reason why they are fighting, because they are very innocent person. So I don't think there is a any big reason for the fighting. They are small bit reason. Right. So I try to remove that bit reason, and I politely and sympathetically uh, understand their problems, and 
I resolved this problem very easily, I think. I want your complete introduction. Sure, sir. Sir, my name is Vikas Patak, as you know. And I'm much similar to my name. I'm, I'm very compatible and I love challenges. I belong to Riva Madhya Pradesh, which is known as the land of, known as the land of tiger. I completed my graduation in Bachelor of Computer Application and I have completed post-graduation with MCA and MSc CS both. Uh, my MCA was from Te Punjab Technical University and I have completed MSc CS from Makhala Chaturvedi University with 76 percentage. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, then I serve as a computer teacher in more than 10 years in different types of professional training centers and recently I have working uh, as a PGT in a senior secondary school since 2021. Uh, during as my career as a PGT, I actually realized my actual strength and now I am looking forward for becoming a successful teacher in a prominent and uh, prestigious institution. Wonderful. Any special strength which uh, matches NBS? So I am very punctual. I am much particular about my schedule. I don't like to waste any time on unproductive work. Wonderful. I hope uh, now it's the right time to give some uh, tip to my students those who are going for uh, NBS interviews. See, just now I have, you have seen that the intro which I have taken from the candidate was totally in English. And I suggest for uh, interviews like uh, computer, if you are going for any science interview, I prefer that you should have good command. I don't suggest that you should give the complete interview in English. But at least you should have a good command. So if possible, interviewer can ask you that you can give your uh, demo in English or they can ask your introduction in English. At that time, you should not fumble at all. This is only a task tip which I think you should must gain. So we're all proud of you really because keep it a blessing. Thank you, you sir. Vikas. Thank you, sir. Thank you.